Sean Turner was four years old when he died. He'd undergone surgery for a heart condition six weeks before, but his parents believe he might have survived with better care. Sean's parents believe things started to go wrong when their son was moved out of intensive care at the Bristol Royal Children's Hospital. He was sent to another ward where they felt staff were under-trained and overwhelmed. The alarms were going off all the time and I mean they even the nurses even showed us how to turn the silence the alarms so that you know they weren't bothered um, which was quite frustrating because we were saying if these alarms are keep going off there's something wrong and we could see something was wrong. When Sean's parents asked for him to be returned to intensive care they were told there wasn't a bed and that he wasn't sick enough. Yolanda Turner told the inquest today Nothing happened. Nobody seemed to help. Nurses were concerned, but they seemed too busy to give the time needed to care for Sean at the level he needed. Every nap he had, I sat and cried as I felt so desperate and so helpless. After four days, Sean suffered a cardiac arrest. He was sent back to intensive care, but died a month later. His parents say Sean's is not an isolated case. They've come to court to get to the bottom of what happened to their son, and they hope to receive an apology. Today, the hospital offered them its condolences. Polly Whitehouse, 5 News.